Richard, the question of our personal identity through time, what keeps us as unified beings, where I think I'm the same person as I was as a child or a teenager as I feel today, uh, is a, uh, a probe of what, it, of, what, um, of what being human beings, persons, selves are all about. I'd like to ask you about that, but also in the context of if you believe, which you do, that there is some afterlife that people have through your religious belief, does that same question impinge on how we are able to have an afterlife? Indeed. Um, if you want to tell the whole story of the world, uh, you must say what objects there are in the world, what substances there are, and what properties they have at different times. And of course that will include all the physical objects, all the tables and chairs and planets and atoms, and uh, what properties they have, what their mass is, and uh, what relations they have to other atoms. Uh, but of course that won't uh, tell the whole story. You will also have to tell the conscious life which is associated with each body. You have to uh, include the, which are properties of the person. You have to include the sensations and the beliefs and the thoughts which are associated with this body. But even that won't do because it's compatible with this, uh, with telling all about the physical objects and their properties and all about the associated mental properties, uh, that you might have my body and I might have yours. Um, because uh, <laughs> uh, the same, uh, it might be that uh, you were born uh, with my genes and in inhabited my body and had my thoughts and so on, and I was born with your genes and inhabit your body and your thoughts, and uh, the world would be exactly the same in the respect that the same uh, uh, physical objects would exist and the same properties, both mental and physical, associated with them would occur. But of course, the world would be crucially different because you would have those experiences and I would be having these experiences. So a full story of the world has got to bring in a further element. It has got to pick out subjects of experience not just by the experiences they have, not just by the physical bodies that are associated with it, but by in some other way. Um, in what way? Well, it's the obvious way to, to put it is to say that they, they, they are separate mental entities for which the natural word is soul. Um, I am my soul together with, um, and that has certain properties in the sense of thoughts and sensations, and it's associated with a body which has certain physical properties and so on. If you don't bring in souls into the account of the world, uh, you will not tell the full story of the world because you will not tell who has which life. Um, and, of course, I might never have existed, and instead of me, there might have been a person who has these thoughts and these feelings, and um, uh, instead, but the world would have been very different in that respect. So, once again, you've got to bring in persons, and you've got to define persons not in terms of the bodies that they're associated with, but in terms of the soul. That is absolutely vital for a full description of the world as it is, quite apart from what might happen in the world to come. And uh, therefore, uh, given that souls constitute the personal identity, uh, the uh, continued existence of me will consist in the continued existence of my soul. Now maybe, of course, that can't function on its own. Uh, maybe it can only function when associated with the body. But in that case, my continued existence would consist in it being joined to a body again possibly a body made out of a few of these uh, same bones, but not necessarily, <laughs> maybe an entirely new body. Uh, that's what my existence would consist in. I think the soul could exist on its own, actually, but um, not a great deal turns on that. Uh, my, uh, my existence will consist in its existence together with what else is necessary for its existence, and if a body is, then a body as well. Does that uh, lead to the, in the resurrection where we will have a body? Yes, uh, the resurrection of the body has been a, always been a crucial Christian doctrine, and um, uh, uh, that is uh, 
uh, I'm not, I don't think it's necessary, actually, myself, for existence. Um, in the afterlife, one could have just souls, but uh, clearly uh, a body is a desirable thing because only a body gives someone a public presence and therefore an ability to interact with other people. I mean, uh, uh, in order to interact with you, there has to be a... <laughs> some place where I can get hold of you or some way when I try and get hold of you as opposed to getting some hold of somewhere else. So you've got to fit on a map, as it were. Uh, and uh, if I'm to interact with many people, then they also have got to have places on a map. And the, and the places that you have on my map must be the same as the places somebody else has on their map. And that's what having a body can basically consists in, a place where we can be got hold of, where we make a difference the things where people can make a difference to us, and that, that, that's, a, that's a body. Do you have a problem understanding what this soul is? Is it a differentiated quality? What's to prevent your soul from getting mixed up with my soul? Well, uh, um, it, it is not analyzable further. It has no extension. It is an immaterial particular, to use an old-fashioned philosophical term. Uh, it does, of course, have characteristics, uh, properties, it has these thoughts, these feelings, these attitudes to life and so on. Uh, but uh, the way we, in, uh, and in fact, we distinguish between souls in terms of the bodies with which they are associated. But of course, if they get separated from bodies, uh, it's, um, and they, they don't, and, and if it, they were to have the same thoughts as each other and attitude to life as each other, it wouldn't be possible for us to tell the difference between them, of course. Um, a superior being might have a, might see things in them that we can't and therefore recognize the difference. But for us to uh, interact with others and to be able to recognize others, we, we need uh, different public uh, characteristics, yes.